Hey guys, I am so excited. I have finally finished redoing my stamp room. I've talked about it. I mentioned it on videos and on my website and stuff like that for several months. Um, you can see back there, that's the big thing that we did. Um, the cabinets were installed by my husband. And on March 22nd, which I know the date because that's the day before my birthday, um, I ordered a countertop for it. My parents gave it to me for my birthday and they installed it uh, Tuesday the 28th. So it took a long time, but I'm so excited about it. And I've really kind of redone my room. I know I can see that a lot of you, um, you look at my stamp room when you visit my website. And I know because we're all like that, you know, it's, it's kind of a, I don't know, like, you're always thinking about it. How can I organize my stuff? How can I make this better? How can, you know, and so it's nice to see other people how they do it. And I changed quite a, a few things. I will still keep my old stamp room on my website too, because you know, it, that might work for some people. Um, I may even add some pictures that I have of my stamp room in my old house. I moved here almost eight years ago and this this is so this has been my stamp room for eight years but before that where i used to live on the east coast of florida i had a different stamp room and i might share some of those pictures too because that might work for somebody okay so i have lots of pictures of everything and i will have links to you know what i can show you where i got it from obviously um all the cards and stuff and the supplies inside the storage stuff you know where i got that from i got it from stampin up but um the furniture and just all sorts of things i have the link to all of them so um you can see the video obviously and then there'll be a link to my website where you'll see all the pictures and then each picture will have the links to um what's shown in the picture and where you can get it if you can still get it um, I have some stuff that I've had forever, but I'll explain what it is and they could, you could probably find something similar to it. So anyway, I'm super excited. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'm going to continue this video. I'm going to take you around and show you everything and, and give you some explanation for it. So there'll be the video and the pictures. I hope everybody's having a great day. Okay, here we go. So this is my whole room. Um, the room is about 10 feet by 10 feet. Um, so I just, I, I might even show it to you in a book that I just use. I diagrammed everything and I was putting in, you know, the sizes of everything I wanted to put in there and where I was going to put them and everything like that. So, okay. So here is um, my desk where I do my videos and I take my pictures. This was a desk. I got it from Pier One uh, like 15 years ago. Um, so it, but Pottery Barn sells one that's like it or whatever. It's, I stand up when I stamp. That's how I've always been. So, I mean, there's a, a somewhere to sit too, but um, that's what I liked. Um, so when I got the cabinets, I decided I would use this as what I do my videos and my pictures on. Um, it has a glass top. My husband got me th that for like Mother's Day several years ago. And I can't really have a glass top when I make videos or pictures because obviously with the lights, there's just so much reflection and stuff. So there's a mirror, obviously. Um, then up there, I just display stuff. I have cards. You'll see some cards around my room, like the one on the top. That's from a long time ago, but it's one of my favorites. Um, so here is... Um, I'm getting ready. That's a card I'm going to make a video on. Um, hopefully today if my battery will last. Um, and then up there, I was really excited because back when Diet Coke was doing the names on it and everything, I got my first name and my maiden name, which I still have in my last name. So I display those. And those are the little things I put around the cards. Um, 
underneath is just storage units. I'm not, I, I got stuff in there I think I can probably get rid of. Um, I, don't, I don't know yet. And then this, this shows into my kitchen. So I wanted to make it pretty. So I just have, um, that's uh, white and vanilla and crumb cake and gray and black. So those are the colors that, especially the white, that's what I use the most. So I keep the extra ones in there. And I just have down there is all the, um, the envelopes that the dies come in because I take my dies out. And so I keep a little box with all of the envelopes and stuff in there. Okay. There's on this side, there's also, um, little storage things on the side, but I, that, because you can't see, I just keep stuff that's not used that much and not that pretty. <laughs> All right, here's my ladder shelf thing. Um, I've had this for a while. I just, I love it. I, I wanted to put like really pretty things on here. Um, on the top there, there's my ribbon. The, what I have my ribbon stored in is from Stamp and Storage. Um, Here's what I have my ink pads in. That's also from Stamp and Storage. Again, I'll have links to everything. And then here, there's my blends. That's from Stamp and Storage. And then there's uh, my regular write markers. Um, I got my watercolor pens there, the watercolor pencils, all that kind of stuff is there. And if you buy from Stampin' Up, if you buy the full, um, all the markers, you get one of these. Um, I've had those for a long time. I have several of them. And then this one right here, this is, um, I display cards. I do sell cards. And so when people come over or when I do something outside of the house, you know, like a craft fair or something, I, this is how I display the cards that I have for sale. And then on the bottom is just storage boxes. It has, I need to label them because I did these a while ago and I was looking for something and I had to open up everything because I didn't have any of them labeled. But just, you know, just regular normal stuff that's not used that much. So that is my ladder. Okay, on the other side of the room is this. This is from Ikea. I will have a link to that. And then on the top here, this is a pen board. I got it from Pottery Barn Kids. I'll have a link to that. So you just see lots of pictures of me and my family from, I just, I have to show this one. Oh, that was a long time ago. My boys are now 20, 16, and 14. So, um, and then here's what I store my punches in. Okay, listen, I've picked that up with the punches in it. It is ridiculously heavy, okay? And that's also from Stampin' Storage. But it's, I, I love that because I used to label my punches and now I don't have to do that because now I can just see what punch it is. Okay, so this is inside, I think this is called Calyx from Ikea, I think so, I'm, I'm, I'm almost, positive. Okay, so here is my cardstock. These are the ones that are open and I have these little things. I'm try I'll try to get it where you can see everything. Um, I have it all, each one labeled with what color is in there. Okay, so I have that in between all those. Those are the, the dividers are also from um, stamp and storage. Then in the middle here, this is where I keep my scraps. I used to keep it by family, and then I was like, I need to have one for every single color. So you can see I have every single color. And this basket, is it was from Pottery Barn back when my kids were babies. They're, they were used for a nursery. I'm sure they have something similar to that, but I, I like that. I, I just, it looks pretty. So I, that's why I like it. And I keep, I keep basic white in the front because obviously I use that all the time. And then over here is extra cardstock. Um, I always, I have an Excel spreadsheet that tells me how much I have of each one. So anytime I place an order, I'll tell you, every time I place an order, I do basic white cardstock and dimensionals. I do that every time. All right, so the second row, this is 
how I store dies. This is also from Stampin' Storage. They're each on, sorry, they're each on a little magnet thing. I have the dividers in them to tell me, I, I, so I can sort them. Um, there, I have two of these. I'll show you the other one in a second. So there's that. This is the 12 by 12 paper. These, um, what you, what I store these in are also from Stampin' Storage and I love them. It just makes it really um, easy. I even keep the scraps in there. Let's see, I've used just about everything. See, there's scraps in this one. I keep, I keep it all in there. Okay, so that's the designer series paper. In the middle, this is a six by six storage from Stampin' Storage. So here I've got all the six by six paper that Stampin' Up! has, and I got these little um, paper folders or I, whatever, sleeves or whatever that are six by six, so I can keep the scraps of those with them. And then there, this is the 12 by 12 um, cardstock that I have. And then on the other side, more dies, same thing. And then the same um, paper sleeves for the 12 by 12 as I had over there. I do have some that are for eight and a half by 11. This is um, paper like brush metallic, uh, vellum, all the specialty paper, I keep it on this side. And then on the bottom, that this is where I keep my envelopes, obviously Stampin' Up! envelopes. These boxes I use for my class. I, when I, um, I put everything for each card, I put everything you need, I need in each box. And that's, so that's for my class. That's just some, um, I, I use these a lot too. This is like what, um, embellishments came in. I always keep those little things. Um, they're good to put in little tiny things like for a class so it doesn't get lost. And then I think there's uh, acrylic paint in that one. So that's there. And then here, I just have some extras of the things to organize. This is a box that has things in it that I've already die cut. I probably need to go through that because there's probably stuff I don't need anymore. And then this little box, um, or this basket, it was the same on the other side that my envelopes were in. This is where I keep the embossing folders, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna show you my favorite, favorite, favorite part of my new stamp room that I'm, I'm just so excited about. Um, this is 10 feet long, so I'm so happy because it gives me so much room. Um, I just made a card last night, so I had to clean up because I promise you this is not what it looks like most of the time, but I cleaned it up for y'all. Um, over here on the right side, this is all my stamps. Um, this, the um, shelves for it is also from Stampin' Storage. I'll have a link to that. There's Snoopy. My mom bought that painting at a fair, like a arts and crafts type fair when I was like two years old. And I had it in my closet and I took it out and I had it framed and everything because I love Snoopy. <laughs> okay, so down here, I just got, these are letter organizers or whatever. And obviously I've got my current catalogs and here's the, um, the thing I was telling you about. Let's see. Here's like all my stuff on measurement and stuff for all the stuff that I was putting in my room. I use that a lot. Let's see, I'll get to, this is where I, when I make something, I write down everything I used for it. So that when I put it on my website, um, I can tell you everything I used. What I use those for, here I'll show you. When I'm making something, and I can put the paper in there and what's even better, like the dies. So it just, it keeps, it just makes me a little more organized and not having so much stuff all over the top, you know? That little thing, I got that off of Amazon and it's really great, especially for like the um, dimensionals when you peel off the back of it, I just dump it in there. I have a big trash can, but um, it's good because it's right in front of me. There's my light, obviously. Okay, this thing right here, 
This was from uh, Crate and Barrel, and I love this thing. It holds all the stuff that I use quite a bit. There's my stamp cleaner, pencils, um, glue, all kinds of stuff. I love this. It can even, see it, I don't want them all fall out. You can hang it on the wall. I don't know if I'm gonna do that, but I love that. And then this right here, this is um, a shadow box. Look at that, that's a card I just made last night. Is that not so cute? I mean, if my kids were still little, they would be so excited if they gotten that in the mail from Santa. But um, I'll, I'll have, I'll, I'll post that in a few days or so. But um, this is a 12 by 12 magnet. And you see on here, I have the magnets from the Stamparatus. Um, so when I'm using it or even dies, I, you know, I can throw them on there because I have at times lost a die. I've never lost them all, you know, I've always found them. So, but this has made it a little easier. I just kind of throw it up there. So, especially if it's little. So that's, that's a really good thing. And then of course, up there is what I've always had where those are the cards that I've made. Um, I may put in upper cabinets. I don't know. I'm trying to just work with this as it is now and see if that needs to be done. Okay, now we're gonna go through the drawers. Okay, so you can see I have three drawers there and three drawers there and then a drawer in the middle and then other things. I have stuff in everything. Here's this one here. This is my re-inkers and other things like the enamel effects, which is in the um, mini catalog. That is really one of my favorite things ever. Um, this that I'm storing it in is from Stamp and Storage. Here I've got uh, Baker's Twine and some washi tape that's in the mini catalog. And then these are embellishments. Um, I mean, you know, I, there's a ton of them, but I keep, I keep that all in this drawer. Um, these little things are from Target. I'll have a link to them. The second drawer, this one scares me. This is my die cut drawer. Um, there's my big die cut machine and there's the little one. And then here's all the plates and my heat gun and just all kinds of stuff. And I have like what, how these are, they're also in like a letter uh, holder thing to keep them up like that. So that's my second drawer. And then my third drawer, this is just a light box, a, um, a, a laminating uh, thing and also a um, a scale like when I sell sell stuff on eBay I, I obviously have to weigh it so that's where I keep that the other side of drawers here we've got there's um, my blocks here's adhesive adhesive I use all the times there's some baby wipes um, that's a really cool technique I've, I've done a video on one of those and then here is other adhesive, um, the foam, all, all different kinds. Here's, I haven't even used this yet. This is new too, the masking paper. I have ideas, but I just haven't come up with it yet. Okay, the second drawer, here is where I have embossing powder, my blending brushes, my spritzers, um, there's the shimmer paste and regular Embossing paste, I have both of those. And here's the um, palette knives to work with it. There is, I always forget what these are called, soft uh, pastel assortment. And I have all kinds of um, coloring type things. Mineral spirits and, right, isn't that what it's called? Yeah, okay, that, my sponge daubers, this is new in the mini catalog for embossing. This, the embossing buddy has come back. This thing is freaking awesome. I love it. There's the gilded leafing, which I love those, but man, that thing, that stuff's messy. And then down here, I just have extra. I see I labeled those. <laughs> so just extra um, glue, um, extra like these, these are the Simply Chammy. I use those all the time. I have a few extra, so I just keep those in there. Extra cleaning, uh, stamp cleaner. These things, which I have on my website that you can print and use. I use this all the time. 
um, to figure out what colors to use together. So that's that. Okay, so here's the middle. This is where I stand, obviously. The middle drawer is the stamp scrubber thing. Um, these things, I talk about these all the time. The silicone craft sheet. This, one of those simple chamois that I try to keep wet inside um, one of the boxes. Keep that in here. Post-it notes, post-it note flags, um, my score, my trimmer, all that is kept up here. That's the stuff I use the most, obviously. And then down here, this stores a lot of stuff, but it's stuff that I don't use all the time. Okay, that right there, that is a sewing machine. I use that every once in a while. I haven't in a long time. All these, these are the current catalogs, um, but I have a catalog from every year since I've been a demonstrator, which was 2008. Okay, so I keep that in here. That's where I keep my Stamparatus. It's down here also in one of those, just to, so they're standing up. And then this I've had forever, and I keep um, paper that I use all the time, white, crumb cake, vanilla, heavy white, I keep that in there. And then back here, I keep stuff that's already cut into the shape of a card base. So I just keep them in that. So that's down there. And the drawer over here, I have my um, brother scan and cut machine down there and all the things that go with it in that one. And then over here, I have um, extra different kind of paper. There's the grid paper, I use that for classes and for myself in my bags for when people, you know, place an order and I'm um, giving it to them. Um, so all that's in there. Okay, I think I showed you everything. I tried to do it a little fast. I am a fast talker, sorry. Um, but there's so much, and so I just wanted to show you it and not take you know you two hours to watch my video. So I hope um, you you like everything you see. If you have any questions, please please reach out to me. I'm really good about responding quickly. Um, so I um, I like I said, I'm so excited, and I just want to share it with everybody because it's always nice to see how other people um, organize their stuff. Anyway, um, I'm going to work on another video now of a, a really cute card that I'm so excited about. And um, I hope everybody has a great day.